India News 24 hour. Indian authorities have foiled an attempt by ISI to extract sensitive information from three officials of the Indian High Commission in Islamabad by setting up a honey trap. The three officials were recalled earlier this week and are currently being interrogated, reported the Times of India, advertisement opens, in new window, the newspaper report said the recalled officials have not been suspected of any wrongdoing. Also, no classified document has been passed on to the ISI as the bid was foiled well in time. It added that the officials worked with the language section and used to look after the translation work of the official documents. The authorities in India got wind of the plot before any classified document could be passed on to the Pakistan Intelligence Agency. The use of a femme fatale to lure officials is nothing new. Many countries have been using them to extract information or documents from officials of enemy nations, but it's rare for an Indian official in Pakistan to be ensnared. The government will decide in the next few days how to proceed in the matter. Indian agencies here are also trying to verify if similar attempts were made to seduce any other junior-level official of the Indian mission, the report added, in this case, a honey trap was laid for the officials where several attempts were made to lure them by women. The newspaper has learned that the attempt in the case of these three officials was also to seduce and later film them in compromising position. However, the officials realized early on what they were being led into and they approached senior Indian authorities for help. Advertisement opens, in new window in August, India Today reported that Indian intelligence agencies sounded an alarm over increasing attempts by Pakistan and Chinese agencies to honey trap Indian officers using attractive women. Good-looking women of Pakistani, Chinese origin speaking fluent, Urdu, English have been deployed to lay a trap for Indian officers. Reports also said that internet habits of Indian officers are also being tracked by foreign intelligence agencies. Officers using smartphones of Chinese origin are particularly under the radar.